I'm Mark Spoonauer, and I have been to CES nearly 20 times over the past couple of decades. I was there for the reveal of Oculus Rift and the disaster that was Quibi. And in January, I'm heading back to Vegas to cover all the latest, greatest, and maddest gadgets that the tech world has in store for us. From flexible OLED TVs to robot pets and even a mech suit designed for airport luggage, CES showcases true innovation. And while we are likely to see some great consumer products from the likes of LG, Samsung, and Sony, CES is also home to the truly cutting edge tech that might never come to market in its show floor form, but will undoubtedly change our lives over the next decade. So what is CES? What can you expect from the event? And what should you be keeping an eye on? Let's take a look. CES first started way back in the 60s and has been calling Las Vegas home since the late 90s. Although for the past couple of years, it has, of course, been forced online and operating as a digital only event. Last year was technically a hybrid event, although due to the ongoing pandemic, it was a little lackluster for those who did make the trip. But this year, the show is back in full swing and the Tom's Guide team will be in Vegas from January 3rd to the 7th. Unfortunately, CES is not a public event, and so your best bet is to sit back, relax, and subscribe to Tom's Guide on YouTube so we can keep you up to date on all the goings on at the show. TVs are a huge part of CES. It's where we see Samsung typically announce its newest QLED models, as well as any new technology it's considering implementing. Last year, Samsung announced its new QD OLED at the virtual CES event, and we could see another larger OLED model or two joining at this year's CES. Also, of course, 8K TVs are going to be everywhere at CES, but the broadcasters and streaming services are still so far behind, not to mention our internet speeds, that we don't see this taking off anytime soon. CES is also an opportunity for LG to show off its latest innovations. Back in 2018, they unveiled their first rollable TV, and while that technology never quite landed a consumer-friendly price tag, we did see some of that tech make its way into this year's lineup with the LG OLED Flex, a TV that can go from flat to curved with just the press of a button. We're hoping that 2023 might be another year of innovation for the OLED TV kings, and CES might be the perfect stage to show off that innovation. On the computing front, we often hear about the latest mobile GPUs at CES, as well as next-gen laptops made by ASUS, Acer, Dell, Lenovo, and Razer that will host these chips. It's hard to predict exactly which models we'll see at this year's show, but some new version of the Razer Blade laptop with the newest mobile GPU could certainly be in the cards. We've also seen several companies making full screen foldable laptops this year. And so we're sure to see even more concepts and products pushing this new technology next year. The biggest show for phone and tablet lovers comes just after CES and Mobile World Congress, which happens in February each year. So we don't expect a ton of smartphone announcements at CES. However, TCL has been known to go pretty big at CES and pre-pandemic in 2020, they showed off a foldable concept smartphone that blew us away. And again, in 2022, they showed off two new concepts, one with a screen that folded both ways and one that folded and rolled. It's all cutting edge tech that again, never quite makes it to consumers, but show us that we might be ditching that boring glass rectangle within the next five years. CES has also become a place to show off the latest and greatest electric cars, with makers like Polestar using it as a launch pad for its next big announcements. And if Autotech is on your LiDAR, then be sure to tune in for the annual Hyundai keynote on January 4th. The CEO of Stellantis will be giving a keynote address where he will unveil the Ram electric vehicle concept, the company's electric pickup truck set to debut in 2024. Another keynote will be delivered by the chairman of BMW. The auto section of CES tends to be concept paradise with self-driving cars, cars that run on hydrogen, and even cars that change color with the press of a button. It could be one of the most eye-catching and interesting areas that CES has to offer, with manufacturers like BMW and Mercedes pulling out all the stops to wow attendees. <music> Lastly, there's wearables and smart home devices galore. You'll of course have your market leaders like Garmin and Philips, but also dozens of lesser known competitors who you haven't heard about yet. Few of these products will necessarily make it through to the consumer market, but it's exciting to see what might be on the horizon, like a new way of cleaning your teeth that takes just 10 seconds, or a robot seal designed to keep older people company. And then there's Saber Eat, a company that's developing a robotic chef that can create 3D printed plant-based meat-like products in less than five minutes. Yum? 
Whatever it is that excites the zeitgeist at CES, we'll be there covering it. And as always, the Tom's Guy team will be scouring the convention floor to find the best new tech of 2023. We will also be handing out awards during the show. So make sure you subscribe and come back at the start of January for all the latest from the world of tech. I'm Mark Spoonauer, and I'll see you in Vegas.